are Heikura Vaxelet and Robert Thompson. Now, Heikura, you're based in Papiete. Yes. Robert, you're based in Sydney, in Australia, so you're the representative yes. within Australia. But both of you are specialists on one of the most idyllic places in the Pacific, Tahiti. Just when you think about Tahiti, it's extremely relaxing, it's very French, it's, you know, I mean, it has the word niche written all over it, okay? So tell me what's exciting, what's new, what's happening in Tahiti that visitors from Australia or anywhere else in the world should know about. Wow, range of things. And you've got 30 seconds. Gotcha. Keep going, Robert. <laughs> Um, well, at the moment, I think Australians have uh, discovered Tahiti, or rediscovered Tahiti, we're about 30% off. Wow, okay. Uh, for a number of reasons, and the main one being that uh, packaging at the moment includes a lot more than it did previously. Mm -hmm. So there's meal-inclusive packages, island combos, and uh, um, mm -hmm. that also paired with the fact the Australian dollar has been so strong. Yeah. Um, against the euro and the US dollars meant that it, it does very well in Tahiti. So okay, so it's really going further. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. And value is what we focus on. The pricing is still quite high. We're not by a long stretch the oh, cheapest destination. Ask, no, well. you're not. No. Um, as long as it's sold correctly and, yeah. and it has been in the recent past, yeah. it's doing well. But there is a value proposition that is included. Yeah. Okay. So you'd be looking at anywhere between say two thousand to twenty five thousand dollars for a trip to Tahiti. Okay. But the two thousand dollar level will include everything. Are you serious? Mm. That's pretty inexpensive, though. Yeah, that is. That is. Because you know the automatic that. assumption is that Tahiti is expensive. Yes. Okay. It's actually, which is a good thing and a bad thing. So I mean, there are yeah. positives to that. It keeps us exclusive. Yes. That is what we are as a destination. But at the end of the day, there are lots of uh, markets you really do not want. Okay, because they they're not synonymous. We with like all this. Oh, okay. Well, let's not argue. But no, I'm not going to argue. Let's say we own the romance. We yes. Own, you know, as you romance. <laughs> Yeah. As you said, Doesn't I mean, we you say that beautifully. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> yeah, so. We own romance. We own romance. <laughs> That's a new tagline. Yeah, yeah it's, I think you should go out tonight with that one and say, <laughs> I own romance. Yeah. So, okay? It's us. But you know, I think Tahiti is like a niche destination, right? You know, you've got superb hotels, you've got probably the finest collection of overwater hotels in the world. And this Tahiti is not about volume tourism. It really is about experiential, niche, special experiences. I've got to say, you know, for me, it means couples more than families. I don't know whether I'm right or not. Very. We do families 96% of the Australians arriving in Tahiti are actually couples. Yeah. Um, what is growing very fast though are the five star family holidays. Really? Okay. So, where five years ago we really didn't have anything in the way of a kids club, now we've got properties um, for the Four Seasons Bora Bora, for example, that has a kids club, a kids island, and a yep. teen island. So they cater to the full family units. Isn't that amazing? So they've got a kids island and a yes. teen yes. island. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. But do they have an adults island? Well. The whole place is the adults. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me, how do people get from Australia or from Asia to uh, Tahiti? From Australia, it's via Auckland. Air yeah. Tahiti and New Zealand both fly twice a week, so you're looking at four connections we can So Air Tahiti knew he goes from Sydney, Auckland, Kochi and Okay, yeah. And yeah. then from Auckland. Because he used to fly from Sydney. Yes. It did, correct. Yeah, I've um, been on that service, but it's stopped now, I guess. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and from Asia, there are multiple options. So the most convenient, generally, from Southeast Asia is via um, Auckland, yeah. on in New Zealand, yeah. or on um, Cathay, Kochi and Tien. Okay. Air Tahiti, no. yeah. Um, or Tokyo. There are direct flights from Tokyo, three a week, uh, into Papiete, and they connect to the rest of China. Now we have a North American edition as well. Yes. So, do you, does Air Tahiti Nui still fly from Los Angeles oh, yeah. to Papiete? Yes. North America is our largest source yeah. market, so it's a daily flight. In some cases, double day. Yeah. Um, and it's doing very, very well. Well, where can people find out more information about beautiful Tahiti? TahitiTourism.com, Tahiti-Tourism, mm -hmm. with an E at the end, dot com, for Americans, or TahitiNow.com.au for Australians. So, www.TahitiNow.com.au for Australians, and for Americans, Tahiti-Tourism, with an E, yep. yeah. dot com. It works without an E, too. Works without an E, too, because you've been sharp and clever, realizing yeah, most people want to be out in French doesn't necessarily come well, across. thank it. you very much indeed, thank guys. You. Thank um, you. A little slice of France. You know, I know there's New Caledonia, which is yep. also much closer, but yep. a really nice slice of France in the Pacific. We call ourselves a melange of Polynesia and France. On that note, I'm the melange of Polynesia in, in uh, France, or French Polynesia, if you like, in the Pacific. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. And look forward to experiencing Tahiti soon. Thank you. Thank so you.